Hi Libra and welcome to your general love reading for mid-April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign, And it is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed. If you would like you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box below this video. If you would like to book a cord cutting session just email me and I will send you all the information that you need to know about those. All right, Libra, let's see what is going on with you in mid-April to the end of April 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Four of Pentacles crossed by Temperance. Okay, so I get the sense that somebody here is really trying to hold back. It's like holding energy back, really trying to temper yourself or maybe the other person is trying to temper themselves. Um, so the fact that temperance is even here as the um, in the challenge position, I mean, that tells me that there's definitely some kind of a drive. Somebody is wanting to either express something, do something, but really just trying to keep that under control and like keeping it under check. That's, that's how this is coming in. Let's see for you. We have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so we do have quite a bit of Pentacles here. So maybe some of you have really strong Earth signs in your charts, or maybe you're just really trying to ground yourself or feeling more grounded. Some of you might actually be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, I really see you, um, this might even have to do with either parental figures, family even, I don't know why that's coming in, but it is for some of you, or just your role as a parent, and I feel like something similar came through for a small percentage of the group for Gemini as well. Um, so either your role as parents or something to do with your own parents, it could be that as well for some of you. Um, trying to get into this space of things just being more calm, things just being more happy. And it also feels like really what you're looking for here and what you're working towards, and I do see you getting there, is stability on all levels. But I feel like this stability is also involving other people. It's not just stability within yourself. It has to do with certain connections. And I don't know how this might relate to another person here. Maybe we'll see. Um, all right. So for another person here, we have judgment, death, and the three of swords. Wow. They have some pretty strong energies here. Um, we do have Sagittarius out on the table, we also have a Scorpio. Um, so there's someone here that you are attached to that is really going through something major, like really major, and it could be some kind of a decision or some kind of an, um, like a realization that something is done, That's that there's an ending here, and whatever that is, it's creating a lot of heartbreak for them. So in some way, I mean, this relates to you or to your connection. <clears throat> it's not very clear how, but if this is your reading, then it should make a little, at least a little bit of sense to you. All right, so for the potential outcome here, we have the tower. I actually feel like for a very, for another very small group of you, this might not even be involving another person. This whole reading could be about you. So just take the, um, the messages as they resonate for you, if they do, okay? Um, so having the tower is the potential outcomes. Yeah, I, I feel like it's mostly in line with what's going on down here um, for the other person, unless this is like another aspect of you. I don't know why I'm getting that. I feel like it's the very first time I've ever said that in one of these readings. Usually it's like two different people. Um, so yeah, um, definitely let me know if that makes sense for you. There's there's something that's happening here and it's going to be big. It's going to be big. It's, it's leading up to something huge, like a huge transformation. 
Um, again, I feel like it mostly has to do with the energy that's down here, which I'm referring to as the other person. That's And it's coming right after some kind of a major shift, a major transition um, that will cause a little bit of pain for them, no lie. And then everything that this person has known is, is going to have to be like pretty much destroyed in order to be rebuilt. And that could also hold true for the connection between the two of you as well. But again, I'm seeing you up here being in, in a very positive type of an energy. So I don't know who it is that's holding back here trying to temper themselves. I would see it as being this energy down here as well. Um, because whatever that is, they're dealing with a lot. All right, Libra, let's see. Let's clarify that Four of Pentacles with Temperance. The Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles showing up again, and the Three of Wands. All right. Um, there's an ending here. There's some kind of an ending that is taking place for someone, and there's a little bit of a resistance to that. And it's not even really a resistance to the ending. I feel like the ending, it's happening no matter what. I feel like it's more of, all right, trying to temper someone's own, um, I don't know how to say this, trying to temper the energy, trying to keep the energy under check concerning some kind of an ending that is painful. It's like, it's almost like procrastinating that, procrastinating the blow up. It's like procrastinating the tower, which I feel is very much related to that 10 of swords. Um, and again, this king of pentacles is showing up here, which is actually in your energy. So yes, this does also involve you in some way. And I feel like really what's happening here is that whoever this is, they're trying to the, the reason why they're holding back from allowing this to fully um, take form is because they're trying to hold on to their stability. And it's like there's this fear of, all right, well, once I do face this ending, which is here, I mean, it's very much here. But once I face it or this, and an ending doesn't necessarily have to be like an ending. It can be a transition, right? An ending of one phase to enter another phase. Um, or an ending of a cycle, you know, whatever. Um, it's it's here. But there's this essence that once they ha have to face that, that they might lose their stability. Now, again, this might be you, this might be them. I see it as being on their side. But a bit of that can also resonate for you with that King of Pentacles here. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see the King of Pentacles. The Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so you're you're trying to stand really strong. Yeah, maybe the both of you are actually doing this. This like holding back of fully expressing something, and again, it's so that you can maintain your sense of balance, maintain your sense of. All right, I got a good holding of my environment here and I know exactly what's going on. And there's something about that that is conflicting to you. Again, for some of you, this could be, this could even be, um, it could be somehow that like, just family members are involved here in your connection, okay? Again, that's just going to be for some of you where there may, this may have been causing conflict or it might even be um, issues from the past that are like creeping into this connection. And again, I did get something similar with Gemini. So maybe some of you have Gemini in your charts or might even be dealing with a Gemini. But yeah, there's definitely something, something here about that for some of you. That's creating a lot of conflict and it could even be concerning past deceptions from previous relationships from previous relationships that felt like they should have been stable let's see the queen of pentacles the 
Queen of Swords, so they have you are showing up, and the Hermit of Virgo energy. And like I said, I do feel like we have quite a bit of Earth here as well. Okay, for the most part, you are taking care of yourself here. Um, and it's like, you know, you know what you have to do. You know what you have to do to take care of yourself and to make sure that you are okay. And for a lot of you, um, a big part of this is actually spending time alone. Going deep within your own self to, you know, find things, find things, uncover things about this conflict that you are faced with or that you are facing. And it's like, I feel like you're just really um, coping at the moment with doing that, like going within um, to take care of yourself, but then at the same time doing it in a way where you can still manage your 3D life and your environment and not lose touch with your grounding, not lose that base. I feel like you're doing it. I feel like you're doing it and not only that, you are, things are going to get easier here with this Three of Cups. So let's actually see this Three of Cups. For some of you, this could even be some kind of a reconciliation with somebody um, or just coming together or just certain relationships smoothing out. Let's see. The Nine of Cups and <laughs> the Tower. Okay, really interesting, Libra. What is going on here with you? Um... I feel like really what this is, is that you, whatever this tower is that is happening, because yes, it is mostly on this person's side, but there's a part of it that is with you. And again, like I said, I feel like this whole reading might be about you and that this is just like you and a part of yourself for some of you, all right? I feel like this is that tower and like accepting that tower becoming just easier for you. Um, things feeling a little bit more light because the more that you learn about yourself and the more um, that you can nurture your own self, the, the more that you can see that this tower will eventually bring you this Nine of Cups, um, <clears throat> that it will be for your highest good and that you, know, you can have something fulfilling following this tower. All right, let's see what's going on with this other part of you or this other person here, okay? Whichever one makes sense for you. So let's see judgment. The King of Swords and the Sun. Okay, so Leo also showing up here. Um, yeah, I love how we have both the King and Queen of Pentacles out on the table and we also have the King and Queen of Swords. All right, so it's like the matching couples here. Um, and especially the Queen of Swords being in your element. This person has had a lot of, a lot of clarity over something. I mean, the King of Swords, Judgment, and the Sun, you can't get more clear than that. And what this is about is, oh gosh, okay, it could be about an ending, but it's also about what it is that would make this person happy. Having no doubt as to what that is. And it could even be um, a little bit shocking. Some kind of a revelation that might feel a little bit shocking is the way that it's coming in. Um, but that also, again, it, revolves, it, re it involves some kind of a transition that needs to take place, which means an ending, a death to something, to an aspect of this, uh, either of their lives or within this connection. For some of them, this might even involve children. It might have something to do with children. Let's see death. I feel like whatever is going on here, Libra, it's very complicated. So it's like out of the scope of this reading, um, which is meant to be brief. All right, so we have uh, for death, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. There's an ending of some kind of a commitment or some kind of a family unit. Um, for some of you, it might be a marriage. 
but there's a huge ending or a transition in terms of that. And like I said, there is a bit of procrastination. There is a bit of procrastination, even though there's a lot of clarity here about this and concerning this. Again, I feel like there's a, um, it's holding back because trying to hold on to some kind of stability here. Let's see the Three of Swords. The Ten of Cups and the Empress. So there's a lot of pain as well. There's pain here concerning feeling like, you know, whatever this ending is with that Ten of Pentacles, it's showing up again here as this Ten of Cups, feeling like, you know, there's heartbreak. Again, it's coming in as either a happy family, heartbreak for that, or heartbreak in terms of love. Um, for a particular person, for some of you, again, this might have to do with parental figures might be playing a role here. Um, but I, I'm mostly seeing the Empress as being you. So, yeah, this person is moving towards some pain, especially in terms of feeling like they, you know, they're, there's just pain here involving either you or even family. So I don't know why that family just keeps like coming into my mind, like for both of you, but that's what it is. So maybe you're each dealing with like a different but similar issue here there might be some mirroring between the two of you and that could be why I'm getting that for some of you it, it could just be you for others of you maybe it's just another person that's attached to you again this reading I feel like it's it could go like so deep <laughs> like if I had an hour to spend on this reading it would get like really interesting for me but we don't all right so let's see the tower for the potential outcome the tower please and we have the Four of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the King of Cups. There's that family card showing up again. Um, yeah, there's there's something big that's going to happen here. And yeah, you know, it's not going to be the most pleasant thing in the world. It's, it's not. That's the truth. Um, but that's also why I feel like it's a situation where, you know, it's like this tower needs to happen because it's a situation that's not happy. It's a situation that's not happy. It's like that stability needs to be rebuilt, but that's what I'm getting here, that following this tower, look at this, the Four of Wands and the King of Cups, that stability can be rebuilt, but in a different way. Maybe for some of you, if this is a love connection with with um, either someone else where there's going to be a lot of love, or maybe even with this person, all right? If there's a major shift that happens for them and it is something that you too also want. Either way, there's going to be a major tower, basically that's going to happen, which means a major shift, a major transition. It could be like a death and then like a rebirth of this. Whatever it is, it's big. Again, for a lot of you, this might have to do with family and having to, you know, um, make a huge shift in terms of that. Whatever the case, we do have emotional stability. The very last card out is the King of Cups, which is beautiful. Okay, this does talk about emotional stability and it also talks about love. So, don't be afraid of the tower, basically, is the point here. This almost didn't feel like a love reading, um, but then again, you know, that's how spirit works. You know, it just finds ways to pass on the messages that some people might benefit from hearing at this time. So yeah, Libra, wow, all right, let's see if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have distant thunder, clear the air. Yeah, there's that tower, the air will be cleared. That tower is coming in to clear the air. Just allow it to happen and trust, trust that it's going to be okay. All right, Libra, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching, much love.